Hello everyone, it's Penelope. It is Wednesday. It is the first day of the new sale at Kroger and Kroger Affiliates. Um, so now that I know that I have that two times fuel point digital clipped, I will be going shopping only on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays, or two of those days in between, whichever I get a chance to do. So that way I can do a Kroger haul and a JC haul because some things are better at Kroger and some things are better at JC. And those are the things that I get at the separate places. Other than that, I kind of mix up my, my needs or wants according to what I think they have in stock rather than the other one. Anyway. Okay, so right now we're in my season of preserving food from the grocery store. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting the good deals on strawberries or blueberries or pineapples, watermelons. Um, watermelons I'm not preserving. I'm feeding them to my chickens and ducks. But... This is the time where I'm going to do all my jellies and all my jams um, and get a good start on that. So I don't have to depend upon someone's harvest that may not happen to put into my pantry when it comes to my, my preserves. Okay. Um, I don't have strawberries. I don't have blueberries yet. I have blackberries. I have mulberries. They're not even half ready yet. The blooms of the blackberries just stopped and they're like little itty bitty <laughs> green nubbies. So anyway, this is what I do. I go through, I get the good strawberry deals or fruit deals and I preserve. Matter of fact, um, later on I'll be doing the peaches that I got. I've been kind of letting them soften up a little bit. So I'm going to make peach preserves. I've already made some more strawberry. I've got some in the, in the refrigerator macerating for just a couple of really small jars or if I decide to make some pancakes put those on them. I haven't decided yet because I do have quite a bit of strawberry preserves done and there will be more um, good deals coming up. So I didn't want to like just do a whole bunch of it. So I might do something fresh with those. Okay. So this week at both stores, which is the Kroger line, um, red, white, and black grapes are 88 cents a pound. If you do grape jelly, um, this would be a pretty good buy price. Uh, the last time we got the grapes, they were super, super sweet. So they would make a really good jelly. They would have enough sugar in it. You wouldn't have to add as much. So that is, I haven't made any and I've considered it. I know I want to squeeze it out and then I have to do it again. Um, it's a little bit of a process, but I figured, you know, a few pounds of it, just play with it, try it, see what I come up with. So I might do a little bit of grape jelly, just a little bit just see how it goes. Okay. So with that being said, um, another region other than these two regions, pineapples are 99 cents a piece. This is what my prediction is, is that next week, maybe, I don't know. I could be wrong. One of these two will have them for 99 cents. They normally do. Um, and that would be great. That would be absolutely great. So I really want some more pineapple. I want to do some preserves. I want to do some, some freezy things with them. I want to play with pineapples for a few days. I don't know. I might just go ahead and get two from JC and start that process there. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, now let's go to asparagus. Now, asparagus is going to be $1.49 a pound, as well as their heirloom tomatoes. I know, right? We've got our tomato plants in. They're blooming. They got little green, little green maters on them, and we're going. Should we buy some of these horrible store-bought tomatoes? Well, think about it. But let's absolutely think about buying the asparagus. The asparagus is a dollar forty-nine a pound. Normally, the only time I see it super cheap is Easter time, ninety-nine cents for a bundle, uh, which is a pound, I believe, maybe. If your family likes asparagus and you want to have some on hand, and maybe you don't want it right now, but it's something that you can throw on the grill, asparagus is great on the grill. So you could make an, a, a grill night, or you could blanch them and put them in the freezer. So that's an option with the asparagus. Now, something that I am considering is the Kroger... Uh, coleslaw mix. It has carrots, it has 
cabbage, red and green. It has a little bit of red cabbage in there. They're four for five at Kroger. They're a dollar, they're a 10 for 10, a dollar a piece at JC. I am considering doing maybe four or five jars of sauerkraut to see if I can do it in the jars like my mom did because I really think that's a pretty good deal and probably one bag per jar. So I'll probably only get four or five bags just to see how it works. Now, if the cabbage is cheaper by the head, which after all of your shredding and going through it, and I've got cabbage to harvest this year, so I will be making from my garden, but I really wanna put a few jars up just because. This is my backup can time. So I'm considering doing that. Um, I'm gonna check and see if the head of cabbage is cheaper. So that's something else I'm gonna be playing with is cabbage. Now, when a deal comes along like this, just know that cabbage absolutely freezes fantastically. Um, when I do my rescue stir fry bags, that means I get zucchinis and yellow squash and other vegetables um, on the reduced item shelf. This is great to open up one of these bags, put a little bit in each one, throw some onions in there, freeze them, and you have stir fry vegetables. I do this often. My freezer is so full right now, <laughs> I can't get any in there and it's really frustrating me because I like doing the stir fry freezer bags. But that is also something you can do with that cabbage. Like I said, a couple handfuls, put it in your stir fry and you will absolutely, it will work and it freezes, fantastic. Okay, um, now JC's watermelons are $2.99. I will be getting a few of those. Um, what else did I write down here? I'm going to start looking at it again, and I know I just have it all written down. Okay, um, avocados and mangoes at JC are 99 cents a piece. It's a good deal, I guess. Um, I always look in the reduced bin, and I normally get three or four for a dollar. Um, they have to be used right away, but that's okay. You know, they're ready for uh, guacamole. They're ready for a taco topping. They are ready to rock and roll. Or you can kip, clip them out and freeze them and put them in smoothies or whatever else you do with frozen avocados. Just saying. So if you think that's a good deal, then it's a good deal. Prepper tater chips. <laughs> the Pringles chips are 99 cents this week. Not a bad deal. Um... Your sour cream, cottage cheese, and your dips are 89 cents. If you stock up on cottage cheese and sour cream, this would be the time to do that. If you cook with it a lot, if you cook with those products a lot and you're buying it fresh when you need it, think about specifically having a space in your freezer for this, those items and use them to cook with from out of there. Because 89 cents a container versus, like, what is it, $1.99 or two dollars and 25 cents or whatever three dollars i don't know um is a great thing to pop out of the freezer throw it in your food let it fall out my cat loves cottage cheese i have him some frozen up there i have some frozen just in case i want to make cornbread and you know i need to replenish that with some of this so i need to get on freezing some more cottage cheese okay i hear my cat i don't know what she's doing okay there she is. Um, also, something else, too, is I'm going to be looking for is a good apple deal. Um, I'm going to be looking for a good apple deal because I do want to try my hand at apple butter. Just a few jars, just a few little jars. I want to practice it out, see how it goes. I don't know. We'll see how that rocks and rolls. Um, something else. The black raspberries or blackberries and raspberries are going to be two for five. I don't think that's a great deal, but you can get three jars of jelly out of it for five bucks. So however you you term your worth of money, whether you invest it into a longer term product or you buy it as a fresh product, it's still a pretty good deal if you look at it that way. Okay, so if you notice, there was a package of meat that I talked about on one of my videos when I did my haul. Um, it's called Bork. <laughs> That's how it rang up on 
the computer screen when she when she scanned it through and I'm like the hell is pork it is the beef and pork mixture that you can get for $3.99 a pound probably it will go on sale even cheaper here and there so I am going to start buying pork I've made my decision um, I put all of that in the freezer so I will go and try to find one more package for some freshies um, I'm want, I want I want to do some tacos. I also want to do some hamburgers. I like having those um, on hand. So I'm going to get like two pounds to play with and then another two pounds to put in the freezer in one pound packages. So pork. It's the new beef. Just saying. Okay. Um, like I said, blanching your, your vegetables and putting them in the freezer is a great way to save money. Uh, freezing fruits and vegetables I mean, if you can get them cheaper, do it. Because when you go and buy what you have to have for your meals, instead of going to what you have and planning your meals around it, you'll notice a huge difference in how much you spend for groceries. Amazing. Um, I think that's all on that. So right now they have their peanut butter on sale for $1.89. Do not buy it. Do not buy peanut butter from Kroger right now. They will put it on sale for 99 cents two, sometimes three times a year. Maybe more than that. I don't know. But $1.89, I was in Walmart the other day, and their Peter Pan um, peanut butter was like a, it was cheaper than $1.89. And I'm like, wow, okay. So apparently there's going to be a peanut butter war. <laughs> so no, don't buy it at $1.89. Wait for the sale if you can. I'm stocked up. I, I could wait probably a couple years for peanut butter. Okay, now these are the two inserts that I got in the mail um, this week. Um, Gold Star Chili Coupons. If you've never had a cheese coney, a three-way, four-way, or five-way, you might want to see if your Kroger has it on sale this week, and it's a 50 cents off a can. Um, some of the best Cincinnati-style chili ever was. You put this on top of your spaghetti. You put some kidney beans, some onions, some cheese, and some hot sauce on top, and you've got a five-way. Fantastic. Also, cheese conies. You take your hot dog, put it in your bun, put some mustard on there, put this chili sauce on there, some onions, some cheese, some hot sauce. You've got the best cheese coney you've ever had in your entire life. So, just to try something that we like here in Cincinnati, Gold Star Chili. You'll also hear about Cincinnati or um, Skyline Gold Stars better. And there used to be a place called Empress that was even better than that. Okay. Um, what else is in this one? There's some Nivea coupons, which could come in handy if you do a deal at Dollar General with the Nivea stuff. Um, there was a dollar off of two Captain Crunch cereals. I remember when I used to buy that for the husband. I don't need that anymore. You don't need it. I don't know. Another great coupon are your uh, Nutrish coupons. You will find them on WooHoo's constantly at Kroger and Kroger Affiliates. They're a great deal to have. Um, they have closeouts every now and again. These coupons are good until 8. 8. So, these are the kind of coupons you save. Dog food, dog treats, um, things like that, because those are a, a pretty high value but also they last a lot longer so that when you come across a really good deal at Kroger or Kroger Affiliate, apply that and you can get really cheap dog food, cat food, whichever. Um, here is a $2 Bic. I think it makes some of the stuff at Dollar General almost free or free. There's a 55 cents off of Texas Pete, oh, 55 off of two Texas Pete hot sauce in there. Those are kind of good coupons to have to hold on to. Now, this one here, the Retailing Knot, has a three off of, of one any size Imes dog food. Um, I have a lot of these coupons, so I'm going to stop Little Miss Morgana up on Imes puppy food. Um, I don't like her on the Beneful. If you've seen the commercial, <laughs> oh, my dog has good poops now. Well, my dog isn't having good poops on the, <laughs> on the Beneful puppy. Um, she still gets frozen Bill Jack. I will get her more of that, <laughs> even if I don't find it on sale. But anyway, I'm coupons. Um, that's a pretty high dollar for any size. 
and you will find woohoos, you will find sales deals, so on and so forth. This is also the one that has all your gain products. If you are a gain person, or if you have the Tide Simply, um, you like the Tide Simply bounty and the bounce, there's a dollar off coupon for that as well. Um, I don't know any deals right away from Dollar General with that. Okay, here is a dollar off of any three Kellogg cereals. Um, right now, they're $1.69. So that's not a half bad deal for um, Kellogg cereals if you need to stock up on them. Um, I need to stock up a little bit more on my Frosted Mini Wheats because I'm starting to get back into where I want my, my wheat again. Um, and then there's a dollar off of any three Pop-Tarts. Now, I would save this one only because when they go on sale for $0.99, cents, that's a really good deal at Kroger. Just saying. And even save a couple of these dollar off threes. They're good until July 26th. So chances are you're going to see another sale with Kellogg cereals that these are going to really work with. That's how they roll. Um, there's secret coupons in here, which is a good one. So they've got some P&G stuff in here as well. They also have these $2 dental lifes. Now, I noticed that they put all of the dollar dental lifes that I saw on clearance at Dollar General, and people were getting some overage with these. Now, these, if you find the dollar bags at Dollar General, um, it will work. Also, it also says um, the dog chews, treats, any size, any variety. So if you find any of these dental life products for a dollar, you're going to get a dollar overage with these. Even if they're a dollar fifty, you're going to get fifty cents overage. So, Dental Life coupons are very good to have, and they are good until nine thirty. So, if you don't find any good deals, wait nine thirty. That's right before Christmas. You could stock a stocking with those, and I did. I stocked a lot of my uh, grand puppies stuff. Okay, Cosequin for animals is on there arthritis pain medication and then on the back we have our new skin bandage I think that is something that we absolutely must have in our preps there's a two dollar off of a new skin product and it is good until 914 so these are the kind of coupons you hold on to even if you're not a couponer just get a little sleeve of some sort and put some of these coupons in because you never know when you go to the store and you find some of these products you're like hey you know what I have this, it's going to make it a dollar. How awesome is that? If you can get stuff as cheap or cheaper than what you can get at Dollar Tree, amen, let's do it. Because normally you're going to get a bigger price any, or bigger product size anyway. I think that's it. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with Little Frizzle. Um, I guess they're in a hurry. We'll see. I really don't have anything else. Just, if you haven't canned, just try. Just buy a few of these little items and try it, like the sauerkraut. Try making a batch of jarred sauerkraut. Pretty easy stuff to do. Um, jellies, really easy to do. Um, preserves. And even like these juice um, sales, like the Minute Maid juices are 99 cents a carton, and the um, Hawaiian Punch is $1.69 for one of the great big jugs make some ice cubes freeze those and you can have stuff for your punches or or make you know make some um, drinks that are kind of fruity so there are things to do with some of these things that you can save them freeze them freeze those juices not the Hawaiian punch one because I don't know how well that would do but the one in the carton I've got some down in the freezer right now that I got super super cheap last year and I will be pulling those out eventually but while this stuff's 99 cents I'm just gonna keep buying it why not? A dollar for a big thing of juice that I can, I always mix it with water because it's just too thick for me. So it's kind of like having really good flavored water. Y'all have a great day. Sorry this went so long. Um, I also am considering doing a gender reveal video of my new grandbaby. I don't know how to do it. So you know what? Why don't we do it this way? You all guess what my grandbaby is. Just guess <laughs> in this video and then when I do a review video you'll know if you're right or not how's that
Okay. You'll have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I do not promote people going shopping unless they have a plan of action and are safe, safe, safe. Disinfect before, during, and after. Wear your masks. <sighs> Bye, y'all. Have a great day.